Ever wondered why the mere thought of cannibalism makes us shudder? Well, consider this particular cultural taboo, which involves a dish best left untouched. Cannibalism. Now, before you start checking if your neighbors look like snacks, let's explore the reasoning behind the age-old taboo of munching on fellow humans. So, let's dissect the taboo. The four people of Papua New Guinea historically practiced endocannibalism, consuming the remains of deceased relatives. However, the spread of the Kuru disease threw a wrench into this cultural norm. Kuru, a neurodegenerative disorder, was transmitted through the consumption of human brain tissue. It's like a chilling plot twist. A cultural practice turned hazardous. Imagine this. The four people, striving to honor their deceased kin, inadvertently faced a silent enemy within their customs. The taboo against cannibalism emerges as a survival strategy, a cultural adaptation to prevent the unwitting transmission of a devastating disease. Consider this taboo from another angle. What if, in a different context, consuming human flesh was a necessity for survival? The cannibalism taboo isn't universal, it's shaped by cultural, historical and environmental factors. The four people's experience with Kuru reshaped their cultural landscape, steering them away from a once ingrained practice. The reasoning behind the taboo becomes a reflection of a community adapting to unforeseen consequences. It's not merely a moral decree, but a survival strategy, a cultural evolution born out of the need to protect future generations. This is a reminder that taboos, however perplexing, often carry profound historical wisdom. The Four People's Experience prompts us to question our own cultural norms and recognize that at their core, taboos are often responses to unforeseen challenges. To bring this to an end, it's critical to understand that the taboo against cannibalism is ancient and predates recorded history. It has likely evolved independently in various cultures over time due to a combination of practical, cultural and ethical reasons. Evidence suggests that early human societies recognized the potential health risks associated with consuming human flesh. As societies developed and established cultural norms, the taboo against cannibalism became ingrained as a moral and ethical boundary, emphasizing the value of respecting the sanctity of human life and the need for societal cohesion. So as we reflect on this peculiar taboo, let's understand the intricacies of human cultures and the pragmatic reasoning that underpins seemingly mysterious customs.